All right, I'll give an update on the uh, Viper Spectra XS1500 grow light. It's in the Mars Hydro 2.3 by 2.3 grow tent. And uh, just as a disclaimer, I'm learning how to grow these, so I have a lot of any, really any experience at all. But since I got them in the mail, they're um, looking uh, pretty good. This Venus flytrap's got a lot of new growth here in the center. So I'm pretty happy with that. This is a Drosera, it's a Sunday plant. I just got this one about a week or two after I started the others. Uh, this is a brand new leaf and there's a couple of new ones popping up. Saracenia pitcher plant. Uh, the light was a little too intense for it at full strength. I noticed some crisping on the edges and also some bleaching here. So I backed it down to about 75% to kind of let them adapt. This is a brand new uh, stalk that's come up. This actually was smaller than this one. This is brand new, just came up. Um, this one was smaller than this one when I put it in here. And it's fully formed, looks really good. And this is a new one. So I'm seeing new growth that looks good on these. Crank the, the intensity back up just a little, probably about 80%. So far, yeah, I had some issues with these. I think the light was just too strong for them. And the new growth should adapt automatically. It's kind of like a when you harden off plants, the, the ones that are on the plant, sometimes they get a little, a little burnt, but the new growth adapts to it. So I think that's kind of what's going to happen with these. I just need to gradually adjust it up to full strength. But so far, it's looking, looking pretty good. It's uh, fun to learn about. Um, I'm just giving these right now distilled water. I need to maybe try to catch some insects to give these for food. But uh, like I say, I don't really know anything about taking care of these kind of plants. So it's a learning experience for me. It's one that I'll enjoy. And anyway, I just want to give an update on this light. The um, Viper Spectra XS1500. So very nice quantum board light. Uh, I'll put a link to the unboxing and setup in the description. But uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so after I shot this initial video, I caught a stink bug and dropped him down in one of the, I think it was this one or that one. I had to look. But I got this endoscopic camera. It's made to like look up in your nose or ears or whatever. But it should be pretty cool to look inside of the pitcher plant. Uh, so I'm going to hook that up and see if we can find it. Yeah, so there it is. It's um, stuck in there and it can't get out. That looks like the... Pretty cool, because I hate stink bugs. I'm glad that, um, glad that works. Anyway. You can see these, uh, these tiny hairs. It kind of forces like an insect lands on it, kind of forces them down into the tube where they can't get out. That's pretty neat. 